I received this Asus laptop in a previous video where I also converted a Toshiba L650 into a Chromebook for my son's stay at home schooling during 2020. I'm going to attempt a similar conversion also making this laptop into a Chromebook. A dilemma though is there are lots of challenges in this conversion and I'll go over all of them next. The first thing I noticed about this computer was it wouldn't boot up. The power button doesn't do anything, but with the case being in such great shape, I'm thinking the inability to boot is related to a dead battery. Related to the dead battery, my friend also mentioned she can't seem to find the power adapter that goes with the laptop. So right now, I can't charge the battery until I purchase a new adapter. I have a multi-purpose adapter, but even that one with its many tips won't fit this tiny power port. For now, I'm awaiting delivery of an adapter I ordered from eBay. The next thing I checked was the RAM. Because this laptop had Windows 7 installed previously, I expected it to at least have a capacity of 4GB. After finding specs online, I found the maximum capacity of RAM was 2GB. Even for Chrome OS, that would be pushing it, but I'm going to give it a try anyway since it doesn't cost much for a 2GB stick and I'm curious. The last thing I'm going to change is the internal hard drive. From the factory, it comes with a 2.5 inch Hitachi 160GB mechanical hard drive. I'm swapping that out for a 256GB ADATA SATA SSD. The charger was delivered, so I'll see if this 11 year old battery still holds a charge. If not, for the purposes of this video, I can always run the laptop off of the power adapter. I've had the battery charging for less than 2 hours. I was able to get into Windows XP without a password and this is the power meter over that 2 hour period. I think the battery could be used up to almost its limit considering it only took 2 hours to fully charge. Usually the quicker a battery charges over the years means it's starting to lose fully charged capacity. Something else I thought I should test is how cloud ready Chrome OS runs on this original configuration with 1GB of RAM and a mechanical hard drive. I'll do a quick install of cloud ready on this computer so I can record some timing tests for comparisons later in this video. A big problem I came across that ended up being a showstopper for this conversion was this message. Upon starting the install process booting from the USB drive was a message stating Cloud Ready Chrome OS no longer supports 32-bit computers, which is what the Atom CPU in this laptop is. With that, I'm going to continue with upgrading the parts I had originally planned on to get a little more speed out of the existing OS this computer already has installed. It's Windows XP, which has lost support from Microsoft quite a while ago, but as long as I don't use this computer for anything that accesses sensitive data, I think I should be fine. I'll tear down the laptop as far as needed to begin installing parts from the inside out. One thing about this really old laptop is it's made to take apart easily. The screws are of the same type and size, all PH1 cross points. Nothing is glued or soldered. I'm a little bummed I can't make this Asus into a Chromebook. It would have been a useful tool for me on certain occasions with its small 10 inch screen size and reasonably light weight. I'll keep it around in case I find a way in the future to get Chrome OS installed on this laptop. Some viewers have mentioned I should try Linux and that's probably what I'll do since I am curious about that. I'll reassemble this laptop along with the new SSD and RAM I picked up. The total cost of all parts purchased came out to $58. You can find the list of parts in the description for this video. Rather than reinstall XP, I guess I'll use this laptop to experiment with different distributions of Linux. If I find an interesting use for Linux, I'll definitely make a video of it. Here's my rescued 2009 ASUS laptop. If I go into the BIOS, under the boot menu, the system does see the ADATA SU760 which is the new 256GB SSD. The new 2GB of RAM is also recognized. Exiting the BIOS, I can boot from another USB drive that is formatted with Win98 DOS files. It allows me to boot into DOS, but no applications are installed. 
From here, basic system monitoring and maintenance commands can be executed, but not much else. I hope you've gained some useful information regarding Neverware's version of Chrome OS named Cloud Ready. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.